So guys, as we have expected, Tesla is already making their very first updates to the Model 3 performance even before owners have taken delivery. Now I hear that a lot of you guys have just started to receive your VINs with estimated delivery dates 2-3 to three weeks out. This is fantastic news as we will be getting our first hands-on reviews directly from owners themselves rather than just the media groups. So far, it looks like Tesla is prioritizing Europe and Asia first as they typically do and a lot of you guys have DM'd me and letting me know that you are going to be taking delivery fairly soon. I can't wait to hear you guys show all the details and share everything that you know about this car. If any of you have managed to take early delivery or test drive the new performance model, definitely hit me up on Twitter or X at Hey Johnny. Over there, you guys can just DM me and I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. I am just as stoked for this as much as anyone else. So now, speaking of the Model 3 performance, there has been a lot circulating around with the limitations of the battery the drive motors as well as the overall horsepower of this car. At the moment right now, we still have not gotten any clarification from Tesla themselves. These numbers we are getting directly from the website and it doesn't seem like we will be getting any official numbers directly from any officials anytime soon. What we will know however is that there will be two different variants of this car with two different type of batteries, one being the LG and one being Panasonic. Now thanks to a bulk of you guys that live in various regions around the world, you have personally messaged me giving me as much detail as possible and now we can compile all the details together and see what we have with these two types of cars. With all the details that we have so far and with the numerous videos that I have put out, if you guys want to check out on all the specifics of each component, I will have some links in the description below but over there you guys can check out the drive motors, the batteries and all the different things that will be the differentiating factor between the US model versus the rest of the world. Alright, so now let's talk about what we know so far. Throughout various different countries within Asia and Europe, there is a common trend between all of them and that is the fact that you do have to pre-register your car way in advance before taking delivery. Now this doesn't apply to every municipality and every single bylaw, but the gist of it is there is some form of pre-registration. So now what's good about these pre-registration unlike in North America is the fact that you get an upfront cost and you you know what you're going to be expecting and that is where we're able to see all the different variants all around the world with these two cars. Now really I don't want to drag this video on for too long so to summarize the bullet points earlier, Tesla is going to have to conform to everything they have given the government. So what the government has in hand with all the documentations and all the power outputs, that is exactly what's going to be given to you when the car does arrive. So technically whatever you're paying on the registration paper and and whatever you're paying additionally for the road use, you are going to be getting that amount of horsepower that is provided to the government by Tesla. Alright, so let's get on to the performance and what we have found so far. Getting straight to the point here, Tesla seems like they will be unlocking some additional power to this new Model 3 performance. Now, just for additional clarification here and getting the geeky side out, there has been multiple indications of ludicrous all over Tesla's very own website from their parts catalog to their main Model 3 design studio. For anyone that hasn't seen the sci-fi Spaceballs, you definitely know that this is the ludicrous badge, the ludicrous moniker, this is nothing like insane. And the fact that we know Elon, the guy that loves Spaceball so much, created a car specifically calling it the plaid models, doesn't know the reference to ludicrous is just ludicrous in itself. And added to the fact that the performance variant has always been tied to the dual motor underline across the various different types of models, the Model S, X3, and Y, there is no doubt that this is a completely different segment. So to simplify things even more, anyone believing that this is just going to be the insane or the performance model, you are in for a very big surprise because Tesla is already doing a bunch of things under the hood. Now outside of Tesla's very own website mentioning Ludacris all around and their parts catalog also mentioning this name, there is also a recent update to the sound page of the Model 3 manual. This is where they will reference all the different types of sound that the car may make that you may mistake in for some kind of issue. They have added the Ludacris launch sound and this is the biggest indicator thus far showing us that there is much more than simply just insane. Now if that isn't enough there has been some more concrete evidence that Tesla is now adding a newer variant or an updated version to this Model 3 performance. Perfectly spotted by a Twitter user that goes by Tyrone Hollins. I'll drop his handle somewhere down there. 
but he has given us a really good look at what's going on with this new updated design. Out of pure luck, during his road trip, he ran into some engineering performance variants of this car. This isn't just any engineering vehicle or any performance prototype vehicles that we have seen previously. This car had something completely different. Now before we get to that, keep in mind that the Model 3 performance has already been announced and revealed, so all the details and all the information we need to know is directly on their website. So these engineering vehicles have nothing to hide and the engineers themselves really have nothing to be kept hidden. But for some odd reason here, as Tyrone was walking up to the car, peeking inside of the interior, there seems to be something different. This is not just the new sport seats or the new dash trim. This is something that the engineers have told them not to disclose. Out of respect here that Tyrone has for these engineers, he has decided not to share this publicly, but there seems to be an updated interior or something different on the inside of this car. What this may be, we don't know for sure, but what I can think of is there may be a different UI and different type of seat belts design. There could be a bulk of different things made specifically for the track mode. Now, we've discussed this in previous videos, how Tesla is starting to re-prototype test their original Uber turbine designs made specifically for this performance trim. There has been a lot of discussions and controversy of the looks of the warp design. This is where Tesla is going to be making the newer wheels a lot more aggressive. We don't know the current progress of these Uber turbines, but what we have seen with this new preview from Tyrone is that Tesla is already testing their new 19-inch 0G wheels. Now, if you don't know what these 0G wheels are, you can see that they were previously offered only in the Chinese market on the performance trims. They look extremely aggressive and they look so much better than anything we've gotten so far. The fact that we're going to be getting smaller performance tires with increased thickness and increased protection, we are going to be seeing a car that is going to provide a mixture of comfort, reliability, and performance as well as additional range. Now, to be quite honest, the warp wheels was never my favorite, but they slowly started to grow on me after after seeing pictures of them all over many many times but the fact that if you were to give me the new 0G wheels versus the warp wheels, there is no hesitation that I will be picking the 0Gs. Now, if we zoom in on this high quality picture that Tyrone has provided us, we can see that Tesla has moved over to Hankooks rather than the Pirelli P0s. We don't know for sure how these stack up against each other, but we can assume that the Hankooks are going to be better in a lot of regular use cases, whereas the Pirellis are going to be specific for the track alone. So yeah, whatever happens in in these next couple of weeks, we don't know for sure as deliveries have not taken place yet. But one thing we do know is that Tesla is working on, they are prototyping, they are testing, and they are going to be offering different wheel options and different packages as these vehicles roll off the line. And of course, against what anybody else thinks, the insane mode is not going to be the limits of this car. Everything is going to be changed with an upcoming software update. I am pretty sure of it. So if you guys are sure of it as I am, and you guys want to believe that there is so much more potential, definitely hit that subscribe button and stick around. Hit that notification as well if you haven't already done so. And then I also have a Twitter page. You can update me with all the deets in my DM and I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this should wrap it up for this one, but there will be a ton more. I will see you in the next one. This is John once again. Peace out.